I've really enjoyed revisiting Barney and Friends for the nostalgia, and I was particularly looking forward to watching the special Barney Songs, which was released in 1995, because, as I've mentioned before, most of the nostalgia for me with Barney comes from the songs, songs that I sang as a child at school. It really takes me back, and I was really keen to watch this one and see which songs I remembered, which songs had the most nostalgia. I have to say, as an actual episode, or or special it's really great and I'll talk more about it in a moment but for me I feel like the first half maybe even first two-thirds of it were just songs I'd never heard of songs I couldn't remember absolutely songs I couldn't sing along to but then towards the end we actually had a couple of songs that I did know so I'll just talk a little bit about the types of songs and then give some examples of the songs but what I will say is that throughout the whole thing, it's just shy of an hour, it is song after song after song after song, which is brilliant because, you know, quite often musical specials aimed at children have a lot of storytelling with some songs in them, but this one is literally just song after song with a little bit of dialogue in between them to make the transitions from one song to the next seem a little bit more organic. And this actually brings together most of the songs from season three, maybe all of them, I'm not entirely sure, but certainly a lot of songs and a lot of clips from season three. Um, and each song has an educational opportunity. So while there may not have been a lot of specific nostalgia for me, I can really appreciate just how creative it is, how how many different opportunities for learning there are with this one, and some pretty great dances for children to get up and dance along to as well. I feel like expecting a child to kind of dance along and copy dancing for the whole almost an hour might be a bit too much, but some of the songs are a little bit more gentle, providing a slower pace every now and then, and I think it's very well balanced. So, some examples of the types of topics we cover. Um, It starts off with a song about growing. There's a song about the alphabet, one about brushing teeth. Um, There's also a song about bread, which I'd never heard of before. Uh, I've heard of bread. I mean, I haven't heard of the song. And actually, I found it to be really engaging. I didn't remember it. I've probably seen the episode when I was younger. But it was actually pretty catchy. I don't know if it was made up for the episode or not i i'm going to assume it was but it's actually a pretty engaging song and i rather enjoyed it so i have to say even some of the songs i either hadn't heard of i didn't remember i still found to be pretty great and of course if it's teaching children about different kinds of bread introducing them to things they may not be familiar with that's always a pretty solid thing so the songs that i had heard I wrote down every song that I recognised and bearing in mind each song's maybe what three minutes and it's an hour so we're talking I don't know maybe 20 songs I didn't count them it could be a bit less than that it could be more I don't know but certainly it's a decent amount I only knew Tarara Boom Die um they sang O When Our Band to the tune of O When The Saints uh, Baby Bop sang Bring Black Bring Back My Blankie to the tune of My Bonnie Lies Over the Ocean and they had a version of a wheel, the wheels on the bus. Um, and one actually that I did know that uh, I wasn't expecting to see in this is I Love the Mountains, which is a, a song that takes me back actually to my school days rather than my very early days. Um, but it, it was a very, very uh, engaging special. As I said, the nostalgia might not have been fully there for me. I might not have remembered much in terms of the songs, but... I still think it's a pretty quality special regardless of that. I still have a lot of appreciation for how how well it's put together. The transitions between each song are are very smooth and very rarely feels forced. There was at least one occasion where it just kind of cuts to Barney in the treehouse. I guess they couldn't find a, a smooth way to go from one song to the next on that occasion. But generally speaking, everything flows really, really well. And we have a great cast of kids, of course, including... Uh, one of my personal favourites, Min. Um, I really like Min. I don't know which which kids I loved the most as a child, but certainly with revisiting it, I have some favourites. Definitely a quality special that I think will really be beneficial for young children. It's It's got a really great pacing. There's never really an opportunity for children's attentions to wander. It's something with which they can become fully engaged. Definitely has a lot of opportunities for education. Everything flows really well for the most part. And there's some really great dance moves in well, as well that children can get up and copy. So I think there are a lot of really great things about this. Maybe I didn't remember too much of it personally, but I can really appreciate how brilliant it is for the target audience.